Hello, what's going on YouTube? This is going to be another haul video. More likely, this is going to be the last one of the year. It's been about two or three months since I've done another update, so didn't do much, but I think I do got a few gems. Um, and like always, some of this stuff is pawn shop. I'll let you know if it was a pawn shop or if I ordered it. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, I do have, I did order the um, last house on the left. The Arrow video uh, box it here. Wes Craven's first film. Uh, I actually won this on the bid. Um, I actually got a good deal on this. I think about half than what it's really going for. And it was also brand new. Does come with the the booklet, the poster. So there's uh, the last house on the left. Um, there are Gentos Deep Red. This was used, but I also won this on a bid. Of course, um, booklet and the poster. We all know about this um, Dara Gentle Masterpiece. I still have the um, Anchor Bay DVD edition, which I'm going to keep, but here's an upgrade. I love these um, Arrow Video Collector's Box sets. It's nice and sturdy. Um, this one, Kill Her Goats. Now, this was on Amazon for like $3.99. Um, it does come with this cool little slip. So, I haven't seen it yet, but it's, it has Playmates. This is it has like five Playmates, I believe. Um, and it's a cool little, has like this here and had like six or so lobby cards. Uh, it's a two disc edition. Here's like a little sticker come with kill her goats. This one came out this year. A little low budget, um, slasher there. And Kane Hodder, uh, plays the, um, the villain. Goat man or goat killer, whatever they named him. Um, I did purchase this. This is my first Arrow video or Arrow Anchor Bay tin. Didn't come with. This was a bid. I spent less than ten bucks on shipping. Um, well, y'all know what this this is. And here's the number there: thirteen thousand nine hundred seventy-four out of fifty thousand. So the Evil Dead two in the Anchor Bay tin. Now here's the Blu-rays. Um, these are all a pawn shop, and I do collect the um, animated DC Superman stuff. So here's Reign of the Superman. These are all 50 centers. There's Batman Death in the Family. Interactive movie here. So 50 center. This one came with the slip. This is the complete first season of Titans. Cool little slip. I've never watched this show. 13 episodes and um, this was on a gift card that I got from work so I bought myself the uh, Hammer Horror from Amazon I think this was on sale I think for like 15 bucks shipped this is the 8 film collection on 4 discs I believe good stuff never seen any Hammer Horror so I'm finally excited to have this in my collection um, Woman in Black 2 I've seen the first, which was which was good when it came out. I remember watching it. It was very good. I've never had the second on DVD or Blu-ray. So there's a Woman in Black 2. Um, Splinter. This is a good one for Magnet. This is the uh, Creature Feature. This is a good one. A lot of suspense. do recommend Splinter. Poltergeist with the Slip. This was a pawn shop. Um, I... I kind of enjoy the, the remake. It's okay. It's not bad. So there's Poltergeist. I think, was it 2010? Not too sure. It has uh, two versions of the film. Two endings, I believe. I did order this. Megan is missing just to finally watch it. It's in my collection. So yeah, the last 30 minutes or 20 minutes is the stuff that's kind of hard to get through. But um, yeah, it kind of does stick with you. So there's Megan is missing Blu-ray. Um, let me in with the slip. I found this for like six bucks at a pawn shop, but I was willing to pay for it. Uh, it didn't come with the um, the comic, but my DVD copy that I have had, a little crappy DVD copy, does come with the comic. So I just transferred it in there, and I'll sell the DVD cover. But here's the uh, the frosted slip, and of course it does have the um, there's the comic book right there. 
And this is an okay remake. Let me in. The remake of Let the Right One In. Here's an upgrade, irreversible. Um, so yeah, this does have both um, copies or both cuts, original and the straight cut. So I finally watched it with the straight cut. Um, but yeah, the original was the one really the way to go. Um, yeah, 2K transfer, an hour of bonus feature. So yeah, there's um, Gaspar Noy's Irreversible with Monica Belushi. Pretty hard to get through on that. This is a good one here. The house is October built, and I have the uh, second one on DVD. But yeah, the first one's uh, where it's at. Good stuff. I remember watching. I never had the first one, not even on DVD. But I remember watching it. I'm not sure on what streaming or whenever it came out. I do remember watching the first one. Then when I rewatched it, yeah, it, it's a good one. I do recommend the house is October built. Here's a happy birthday to me from Mills Creek with the slip. Another great slasher from the 80s. Like that slip there. Cool stuff. It's our two film collection. Warner Brothers, Gremlins 1 and 2. Um, another little upgrade here. These are all like 50, uh, 25, 50 centers pawn shop death proof. Now I have the, uh, the the two film collection, the double bill, but I didn't have it like in the standalone. I think it's pretty cool. So there's that. Um, the Bell Witch Haunting. Little B movie. I'm not sure if it's any good or not. Oh, of course, I did uh, finish up my Annabelle trilogy. There's Annabelle Comes Home with the slip. This is a good one. I did I did enjoy this one. I enjoyed the second one as well, too. Um, this one just came in and bought him in an evil. This is Coffin Joe. Now, this is a, the third one from the trilogy. I have the first on DVD. Um, great stuff here from this character here, Coffin Joe. So I need to watch the second one before I put this one on. But there's this one's from Synapse. Synapse Films. And has a DVD and the Blu-ray. And a rest in peace uh, to Jose Morica Marins. I think he passed away earlier this year. It might have been last year. So there's um, Embodiment and Evil. The third from the Coffin Joe trilogy. And Lars von Trier Antichrist. This beautiful Criterion collection. Um, these are, if you guys know about his films, I mean, they're kind of tough to get through. Here's another one. This one stars um, Willem Dafoe. So there's Antichrist. Uh, Screen Factory title. Blood Sucking Bastards is an upgrade. Uh, comedy. Horror. And from Vestron Video, number 30. Uh, My Best Friend is a Vampire. Good stuff there with the slip. Little 80s horror comedy. So there's the Blu-rays. Now we'll go with the DVDs. Found all these at a pawn shop. American Horror Story. I haven't seen any of these. So here's um, Coven, the complete third season. American Horror Story Cult, the complete seventh season. American Horror Story Asylum, complete second season. Sure, if this is any good, the curse of King Tut's tomb, zombie diaries, dimension extreme DVD, <clears throat> freak show cinema, 12 horror films, all public domain titles. I'm pretty sure. 20 sci fi film, kind of shows all of those sci fi horror films. The bundle, 12 movie collection, Blood Suckers, Vampire's Assistant, The Vampire's Assistant, Uncut. This is a British film. I think the whole, f the, for the first time in UK film history, a thriller, horror, comedy feature film that one continuous 80 minute shot. Interesting. It's a DVD. Uh, found this at a pawn shop. Finally, got a hold of Teeth. This is a Blockbuster exclusive pack. Another great, crazy one here. I'm actually happy to have that in collection, finally. Believe it or not, never owned Snakes on a Plane. Found that at a pawn shop. 
Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. Pathology. Here's um, over 13 hours, 9 movies, 3, 3 DVDs. Public domain zombie titles. Hanzo and Gretel. The horror one. Croc with the slip. The Man Eater series. These are okay. I did like this one. And the last one here is the Bone Snatcher. Look at that cover. Okay, that was it, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Appreciate it. Bye.